Hey you guys, I am Aiden's uncle Jake Walsh. He has to interview me about my time living in Iraq and Baghdad specifically. Um, late 2006, it was about November 2006 till March 2007, I lived in and around Baghdad in Iraq. Baghdad's city holds a huge amount of people. About 7 million people live in Baghdad. That's 20% of the country's entire population. Um, Baghdad is split into nine districts, administrative districts. One of them is Sadr City, which we also did some time in. Uh, I lived there for a little bit. Um, Baghdad's a very old city. It goes all the way back to 700 AD. So it's about 1300 years old. Um, let me think. Uh, seven million people, like I said, live in the in the city of Baghdad. That's as big as the city of L.A. and the city of Chicago combined, roughly. Uh, let's see. It sits right on the Tigris River. It split the Tigris River splits the city in half between east and west. Uh, let me think. As I was saying, I did live in Sadr City for a while. Sadr City itself is one of nine uh, districts, administrative districts of the city, and it holds one million people alone. Uh, it's a very old city, and it's a very crowded city. Uh, it is a poor city. Um, it has more jobs available than some of the other cities in Iraq especially in the south, but it is, uh, Sadr City is basically a housing project, and uh, it holds one million people. Um, the weather over there is very, it's very much a desert. Uh, it's hot in the summer. It was about 110 or 115 degrees in the summer. Uh, on average, it would get up a little bit higher than that, and it would go lower than that. And then at night, it would cool off. Uh, we had dust storms when we were in Iraq, and it's just like a storm moving in, but it's a wall of dust moving in, and then it completely covers you, and it's hard to see even a foot in front of you. You can't even see your hand, um, and then it passes. Um, soccer is the favorite sport in the city of Baghdad and in the country of Iraq. Kids and adults were playing it. Kids play it all day long. Uh, the typical clothing that they wear over there is usually long. Women are usually clothed from head to toe as a show of modesty anytime they leave their house. And then men usually wear long robe-like cloth uh, to protect from the sun and the dirt and the dust and the wind. Um, the food over there, we ate a lot of bread that they make in their homes and tea, which they call chai or chi, chai, tea. There's an Arabic word for it. I can't remember. Um, there's dogs all over the place in the country and in the city. Uh, they keep goats as house pets, not dogs. Dogs are not allowed in the house. And when... They talk to each other and they're sitting outside without a chair. They squat down and communicate. They sit there and talk to one another, squatting down. Um, the water was not safe for us to drink, so we drank bottled water the whole time that we were over there. What else? Um, some of the weird bugs, insects that they have. They have spiders, but they have camel spiders. They're gross. Um, if you don't like spiders, they're pretty disgusting. I never saw anything this big. What I saw was about this big, the size of my palm. And again, it's a clear spider, and they move quickly. Um, it was fairly clear. It was like a white, opaque white. Uh, and they have scorpions, so you got to be careful. You got to look in your boots for spiders and scorpions, uh, shake them out, and keep your eyes open. 
uh, if you have any questions, let Aiden know and he can ask me and I will answer any questions that you have. Take care.